This is the uh, post-match post -match press conference from West Indies USA. Uh, we're with the USA century maker Gajanan Singh, who made 101 not out off 109 balls. Far away. Gajanan, it's a, it's a hell of an effort um, to score 100 in a, in a, against quality bowling like that. What, what do you think gave you those runs? Um, I think um, planning for this game, our key word was to be patient, um, wait on your bad balls. You know, work as hard as you can in the middle overs to you know score as much singles, run hard, do the basics correct. Um, I think those factors um, made me got helped me to get that hundred today. And of course, all the experience over the years building up how to play in different conditions against different bowlers. Yeah, it's um, it's been a journey. Um, they say bless, better late than never, but thankful at the end of the day that I can score a century. It's a pity that I couldn't win the game for my team today. In, uh, um, congrats on the century. This is the first time that um, uh, this ground um, is hosting um, international cricket. And um, how different is it from uh, the places that you've played uh, cricket before? Um, um, this environment, it's, uh, it's a township, it's in the middle of, uh, <laughs> you know, if I can use the term, the uh, middle of um, a, a, a black cooking class uh, environment. You know, it's, I think it's a fantastic venue. The, Outfield, the, the the preparations went into it. It's a, you know, the pitch had a bit in it for both um, bowlers. And if you applied yourself as a batter, you can you can score on zero. Um, I don't think about three guys from the West Indies got half centuries. And um, you know, I generally think it's a beautiful venue. I won't forget it. To be honest, mm -hmm. I um, this will be in my memory to death. All right, and um, obviously you had a fantastic effort with the bat, uh, but just on the other side now, um, particularly when it came to the fielding, I think those last two drop catches towards the end of the West Indies innings, how crucial were they uh, in terms of the eventual total that they got? Um, I think our bowlers really, really applied themselves, especially in that first half of their innings. Um, you know, it's been something that's been plaguing us for a while, the, the second half of our bowling efforts. Um, you know, in any big tournament, um, it, is, it is super, super important to take your chances and um, the power hitters that West Indies have and, and the boundary scores that they have when they give chances, um, we'll have to, you'll have to take them to give yourself a chance against them. Yeah, in term, if I can take you ahead, you know, you, you'll be co-hosting the World Cup, I um, think the next edition with, uh, with the West Indies. And how does that? How do you think that is going to do to the uh, growth of cricket in the in the US? You know, it's um, it's already starting to, to help grow the cricket there because same, same. everyone knows the US is hosting. Um, cricket is a really popular game in the Americas already. I think hosting the World Cup will only boost that. Um, you know, credit goes to ICC and and West Indies Board for supporting the US to to host an event like that. It'll be massive for us, and I just hope to show it grows from strength to strength. And then finally, just what's the, the message in the dressing room after today's results? Obviously, um, you know, there's always going to be an uphill battle against the West Indies, but I think you, know, you guys kind of acquitted yourselves there. So what's, what's the message going to the next game? Um, the message is still quite clear, you know, do the basics correct. The key word in our dressing room is patience. You know, if we keep being patient and doing the basics correct, I think we'll challenge everyone or anyone in this tournament. It's, um, you know, it's about getting Getting the first game out of the way, it's done and gone. You know, we we could have done a bit better, especially in the feeling department, I think. And, um, you know, it's correcting your mistakes and moving forward. That's it.